It's day 11 on today's episode we're going to go into conversation on conversation on conversation We'll talk about the wager task and how they lost Then we'll go into raunchy stuff which will be towards the end of this video This house is getting too sexual guys We need to talk about it It's week 2 The rate at which they are going now week 3 These people are going to be banging each other Anywho if that's all you want to watch you Just check the description box for my timestamp and there you go right there So let's roll it hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is not your first time i appreciate you so much thank you so much for coming back if this is your first time please click the subscribe button the bell right beside you so you get notifications every time i post all of you just click the thumb up button right now let's go into conversations of stuff from last night because the conversations are here and there i'm just gonna start like with erica because erica had a lot of conversations here so at first erica told kidwaya that she's now attracted to him and they should try to gauge his response and they just really see where his mind is because as she has said earlier she's not he doesn't really take him seriously he's not really a serious kind of person after that she had a conversation with Lacon where they talked about the attraction to Kidwire. obviously you know Lacon likes Erica as well but obviously you know that kind of friend zone <laughs> kind of like kind of person so he now asked her like so what, good, what are you going to do about this and then she's like she's not going to do anything she just let things flow but I think she's attracted to him physically but mentally they're not there yet obviously because Kidwire jokes with everything like if you ask him a serious question or trying to find out something and the guy would just be so Liz affair about the whole thing at some point there was another erica conversation with um kid wire where she was saying what if i kiss somebody else in this house like how are you gonna take it i was like no i will still hug you i will still get your tea i will still you know she was i guess she wanted a bit of possessiveness from him but if you just say nothing nothing would change and so it's obvious he likes her obviously physically um to an extent to a very good extent he likes spending time with her but kid wire is someone that is like everybody's person like if you go and flirt with him he will flirt back to you and stuff he even told her when i'm just someone who does like I flirt here, I love to flirt, so even if, you know, he would just, he would look at things as a joke Maybe when it's annoying him, look at things as a joke I don't think he's really here to, he's really here to just live his life and express himself I don't think he's really here to find someone, but because they are guys now And you might see a fine girl and you want to, you know, so it's just a shaky path for me She can build on the friendship and stuff, please, she's just not for Because she keeps saying she's an emotional person, she's an emotional person It's not easy Getting to that emotional person, she had another conversation with Liko again, saying how she feels alone. This is not the first time she has had a conversation with was it Ozo? It was actually Kidwire saying how she feels alone. Once someone like to so just say something, or she sees two people that are bonding, and because she's not bonding, like Erica hasn't really bonded with like let's say any girl in the house. She get so she started whining, whining, whining to Ozo, and then at some point she started explaining how she grew up. Um, she came to her mother's house when she was nine and then her and her mother are not close. I understand that because I wasn't close to my mom at all until we started growing up, growing up and growing older. And then um, she used to look forward to leaving the house, going to boarding house. I can relate to that. I used to look forward because I thought my mom was too strict and then she said the same thing. She thought her mom was too strict. She looked at her but that doesn't mean like form your friendship or then just, just I don't know, just learn how to be happy with yourself. No, she said she, it's because of that, like she's now very alone that when she goes back home, if her mom is not sending her on errand, she's shouting on her for something or flogging her to go and read her books and stuff even her school uniforms her mom used to make it like so long past her knee just so that she doesn't look attractive to anybody and then at some point when they were doing all this modeling billboard job people used to come to her that are you sure your daughter won't do like she's so fine mm, i want to cut her hair off you know so she has gone through a bit of trauma from the house and usually bringing up children the house is where they get the first kind of confidence but she's a confident girl thankfully it's just that she's she's whining a lot right now like as i'm talking now she's actually talking to tolani um watuni and then Kidwaya came just complaining about this whole story she told us that she told them again how her mother, her mother, this lonely, this lonely, that. So Salani was like, man, if you ever feel lonely, come and meet me. Like, let's talk about boys, let's gossip, whatever. It's always fun talking about boys. Just trying to hire passion. And she's like, yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. Feeling completely alone. Like so after Lekon finished having the conversation with Erika where, you know, they talked about being attracted to Kid Wire, she, he went to Nengi and he was talking about his entanglement issues with Nengi and obviously with Erika. So he said he doesn't want to put Erika in a position where it's going to mess up with her head. Imagine him and er um, Kid Wire fighting for her. She's now looking for like where she will go, where she will not go. That, that's not good. That when they leave the house, everybody can choose what they want to choose, but it would be unfair you know on erica to be chasing her what he knows kid wire's mind is there as well that his own mental capacity can take things like that but he is not everyone whose mental <laughs> capacity can take things like that and really erica is always crying about emotions and stuff so that was very thoughtful of Lincoln and he's trying to lean back but at the same time he's obviously likes the girl came here not to come and be in a dog of world 
Yeah. And then that Nengi and Tuchi had their own conversation. Those are like, please, we're not even in relationships, we're not interested. That some people are just here, you know, let me that. But please, it's not even something that is doing to all of them. They're not interested in being in any copulations with anybody in the house. They'd just rather be talking to everyone and stuff. Practice for this task, like they were so hyped about it, practicing, practicing for their second show. They were practicing, practicing, practicing. And then outside, Tolani and Watoni, the new besties, those ones are out there just talking about how they're going to shake tables, you know, just talking about relationships they are ready to break. Tolani was like, her eyes is so much. I think Tolani's eyes is probably on Eric and um, probably Prince. And I think Prince and Watoni actually get along. So, two of them are just trying to code share, yeah, but it's clear that, you know, they want to just do stuff in the house and just bond with a boy or whatever, wherever he wants to come from. And then Tolani was at some point, she was just like, well, even these guys here, so like, she needs the most spice, she needs desserts. Like, you know, you know, this boy, she just needs something different from what she's seeing here. The thing Tolani did today, she apologized to Keisha. So, it was after the, one of their practices, she just said, and I said, Keisha, I'm really sorry for calling you those words. You're an amazing girl. I was just watching it to him just a minute ago. You actually really beautiful i'm really sorry like it was genuine it was sweet i think Kisha was a bit like shy so i said thank you i've heard i've heard not so not so i've heard so guys the girls have made up and then um erica and kid had a conversation about anger just, just talking about what will make him annoyed you know just asking him silly questions and um kid was like when he's angry with someone he usually just walks away and then in after a while he'll come back and sort out the things because when you're angry you never make sense you never see in fact you start bringing up all that annoying things the person has done and then um erica was like no that how she will just say it immediately if not at some point like this is someone is rude to her if she doesn't say it immediately to the person if time passes she will even look at it the person was rude she, and the person will not do it again so things like that so she likes to trash things immediately <laughs> Did you zone out when I was talking? And she was not asking um, Kidwaya how long does it take you to trash this thing? She was like, sometimes a few seconds, sometimes hours, it depends on what the person does and stuff. I guess she's just trying to really get to know him and just see what's important to him and what's not. But I don't really think the guy's delving so much into her life, so I don't really think he cares that much about her. Guys in wigs were just funny, all of them wear wigs as in <laughs> Tricky too was just the funniest, like looking so rad and all of them were just wearing the girls wigs and get, trying to get ready for it. I don't even know they're getting ready for because I didn't see them wear the wigs during the way just happened. And then um, Prince and Watoni were lying out at some point. Prince was just asking Watoni questions about herself. What does she do, you know, outside the house that he has never even asked. And then she was like, oh, that she sells bags and shoes. And he now said, oh yeah, I remember the first day you said you actually a lot of people because of covid say yeah that she writes a lot she's a blogger she talks about baby stuff and then she even has a book that she has written i have some stuff i ordered that are stuck in the u.s and then nengi and likon had a conversation as well so liko just asking her are you really not going to get like in, entangled with anybody in the house she said no she's not going for he said aisha later maybe you're just warming up nengi said that's not my intention in this house to complain with anybody i think she still likes her ex because you know the way she broke up with her ex she, she was telling kidwaya early earlier today that the way she broke up with him like she was coming obviously covid covid first start, started a relationship um because they couldn't see each other for three months so he was saying she should come but i'm guessing what, when she was thinking of uh, okay i might be on this show she just wanted to let them actually stretch their seeing each other too much a bit so she said she shall never came and then when she told him about the show they were like they just let, let each other go but i think she still kind of likes him and still hopes because really nothing really happened but they were away for for a while she was we were talking about relationships earlier today that how long does it take to get do you fall out of love with someone it was kidwaya she was telling and kidwaya was like no that love is like fear it's something that just never goes if you fear something you're always afraid of it you know but it's just because distance and some other things can actually stretch it but love is like a decision and blah 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 blah, blah. doing shit with anybody in this house and then erica and kidwaya had this just random conversation about you know um her, her fears again she got emotional again and she's just saying that she just wants to win the money she wants ah, kidwaya was like the money will come the money will come she said she also wants connection kidwaya said oh leave this place i'll give the connection <laughs> And she's like, okay, sure, okay, sure. And sometimes I think she just wants to whine. Like, when she's a smiley girl, happy girl, but sometimes she just drags sadness and just wants to, you know, dive in it. Probably because of experiences in her past, but it gets a bit too much. I was to hug you, I was to flirt with you, I was to kiss your hand. And then there was a fight, guys. There was a fight, Lucy and Tuchi. So Lucy obviously is the head of house, and then she was telling people where to clean. Everyone was cleaning kitchen, cleaning outside, cleaning. And she told Tuchi, carry your mop and go outside because there's already someone cleaning this kitchen you're standing in. Almost Tuchi said, you cannot command me, you cannot. The shah just said, fighting one day, fight, shah, over. You cannot command me. The thing about leadership, if you don't have a good relationship or a good rapport, to just a minimal with everybody is difficult. Like any little thing you say, they can hype you up. And that's the big Basically what she was doing this evening. Telling me clean here, clean here. Do you realize I'm the head of house and I can tell you where to clean? 
and then Prince and Bathony were chilling again. He had his head on Bathony's thighs. Vida came and he was saying, Oh, you feel so peaceful among girls. Ah, v was like, You're the first man I'm hearing that is saying girls are peaceful. <laughs> but anyway, she now said, Bathony, are you a peaceful person? Bathony said, I think so. I'm actually a peaceful person. V was like, A woman of, of war. So was whining to praise that she made him, he made her feel dismissed. I think the night before she was trying to talk about something. I'm pretty like, I already knew what we were talking about because Liko already told me. She said, No, it's not Liko, it's not one Liko, so it's not the ring, it's not the ring, it's something else. Prince was just like, well, I, I thought I knew, I thought I understood it and everything. She's like, anyway, Prince now said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like, let's get a hug and then um, they hugged. And that's it, let's not go into the wager. So these people finished practicing, practicing for this wager, got on stage, did everything so nicely. And obviously the way these people practiced during the week, like... Big Brother was impressed, so he told him how impressed he was, and he said talking about mic infringements, all those people are always whispering, them knew you, he called like three people to stand up, they, they are always whispering, he was so really angry that uh, these people are causing problems in this house, and then what did he talk about again, you know, again, the people talking about auditions, he said, you guys stop that rubbish, stop talking about your auditions, so anybody, we don't want to know, Some, someone even called you know, his um, chaperone's name, you know, these people, they just like acting like kids sometimes, so people are so angry, and then when he was he finished, he said, um, anyway, let me now give you the results of your wager. He called Neo, called Praise, called V. He's like, outstanding performance, Praise, you did so well, your dance was praise worthy. You know, he helps Praise, gave him 20 best way Naira in the wallet. And then he called V, told V, ah, ah, the way she hula hooped and everything, it was so nice. Gave her another 20 best way coins. As he called V, Uncle Neo, but that boyfriend now tapped her bomb, like, as per, you know, familiarity. Hey, even V was weak, she just looked at him as in Big Brother was angry. Big Brother said, Step back, Neo. And he said, Neo, for bad behavior, you're not getting any coins. And in fact, that's how he just said they lost the wager. So I didn't even know he was going to make them lose it already because the way he was sounding, you know how you say a bad thing, say a positive thing. It was as if he was going to give them, but that's how he, they lost this thing. Everybody was angry when he got to the house. Like, you people that whisper, I know we'll say, Come easy with you people again. Can you go? Can you go? Ah. <sighs> Lucy is crying, she's still crying, she's feeling really, really bad. When they have finished the game, he actually called them, Lucy, what do you think? Lucy was like, I think we did okay. Asked Prince, Prince said we did exceptionally well. People learned, and people even surprised us, you know, Prince really had to well. I think if they were going to win that thing, well, oh, that's how these people have only 800 and something for their next shopping. So they might actually be lacking food by next week. Let's go into whether this house means I'm mad. You guys, the sexual thing in this house is a bit too much. Let's start with the first couple. Kidwire and Erika, those ones are okay. They were looking at them kissing is actually a beautiful sight, and clearly they are definitely going to go beyond this because um they are still Erika is still not sure. Even what Tony said at some point that she might sleep on Kidwire's bed today just to play. Well. Let's just look at some of the clips and you can grab a cup of juice, coffee, tea, whatever. Don't grab coffee so you'll be able to sleep because it's like this video is going to go up in the night. So um yeah, this is Kidwire and Erika kissing. Okay, so that was that. And the next couple will be calling up on Eric and Lilo. That Lilo, I don't understand. Like, first of all, her face just looks like love, copulation. And that Eric is just so smitten. Eric, every time he's lying down at night, he has a hard on. His body is nice and everything is nice to look at, but two of them are just, they've forgotten that. Like, we don't know anything about this, but I said this thing last week. I'm just tired of this couple. <sighs> Next, Neo and V. Neo and V, guys. Last night, I just saw somebody saying something about her. Are you sure they're not having sex? I said, Let me go and look at clips. He was basically fingering this girl. Like, seriously, this is. I forget about saying week. So, this is day 11. Day, okay, three days to week, two to eight will be over. Like, fine. I don't, the rapport, I, apparently, according to praise, that they are the best couple. But please, girl, like seriously, is it because we're seeing from the other seasons where Teddy A married Bam Bam eventually? See, can you see Miracle and Nina? <laughs> Did you see how, as in, it's all the problem always falls on the girl, so this girl should just chill. If you're fingering each other as a day, week two, what's going to be happening next week? Basically, these people might be having sex next week. So she's just prancing all around the bed, doing every kind of thing. I'll see if I can put any of the clips here. Ben and Priz. <laughs> anyway, what, what Priz did was a bit natural. I didn't see too much, but yeah, this clip. 
Yeah, so that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. So what do you guys think about this um, sisters and brothers in the Lord in this our house? I just hope they keep behaving themselves, please. All this compilation, they did it too early. Some people are just overdoing it, like outside. Let me just play a bit so we hear their voices before I end this video. Well, even if we had airplanes and animals flying on that stage, we really have to be the truth. Yeah, so they're talking about their wager and the task that was lost. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do share it with your friends if you wish. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye. That can be broken. Eric and Lilo. Eric is so attractive.